What's up guys? I'm back with another Ableton Live tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about Ableton drum grooves and how to give your drums a swing or an unquantized feel. Uh, this is a very desired sound in hip hop music which is what I'm going to be touching on. Uh, you hear devices like an MPC and certain, certain hardware devices that have a signature swing to them. And that's kind of what Ableton is, allow you, is allowing you to do, allows you to emulate those same swings. It has MPC grooves built into it. It has SB1200 grooves. It has Logic grooves. It has, you know, other hip hop grooves. It has other styles of music as well. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be touching on on hip hop. Uh, it also allows you to create your own custom grooves. So if you have a certain swing or feel that you like your drums to be you could save a preset and just have it you could apply it so what these grooves allow you to do is to program a quantized drum sequence and then apply these grooves to get a swing or unquantized feel without actually having to do any manipulation of the notes I've already programmed a, a drum track and a hi-hat track I'm gonna play those and let you hear how it sounds quantized uh, everything is snapped to the grid. There's no swing or anything applied to these yet. And then I'm going to apply some of these grooves and let you hear kind of the difference and in, in how it sounds. So this is a quantized drum sequence that I programmed. Everything, all the notes are snapped to the grid, so there's no swing applied to this. These are all drum sounds contained in the T-Customs Drum Sample Pack Volume 3. Uh, that's available on my website. Link's in the description. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and play this through and let you hear how it sounds with no, no swing. So that's kind of what it sounds like. Uh, you can hear it's real rigid. Like I said, everything is snapped to the grid, so there's no kind of groove, uh, no kind of swing applied to this. Um, so to kind of humanize it, now we want to apply a groove. One thing that I didn't mention is um, right now I'm, I'm using MIDI, I'm applying these grooves to MIDI sequence or MIDI track. This also can be applied to audio, so if you have an audio loop or something that's already you know, in audio form, you can apply these grooves to audio as well. So the first groove I want to talk about is MPC groove. Uh, you hear a lot of people talking about the swing. On an MPC, it's got that you know real hip hop sound and whatever. So I'm sure that people were gonna use that that MPC swing. So I want to touch on that. To access the grooves, um, you're gonna have to go to the Ableton Library folder, and then inside a library, there's a, a subfolder called Grooves, and this is the one that I'm I'm focused on now. And then you're gonna see inside of Grooves, you're gonna see an MPC folder. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, timing grooves uh, so you can play with some of those and see what what you what you'd like to use for that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down to these MPC 16 swings I'm gonna take the most extreme the 75 swing and I'm going to um, you, you can do one of two things you can drag the swing down to this groove pool and in the groove pool you can have multiple swings you can apply to different tracks and you can control all of those grooves from the groove pool. Um, another thing you can do, it will still put it in the groove pool, but what I, a lot of times what I do is I'll just drag the groove over to the MIDI track. And what it does is it will go ahead and automatically apply it to that track as well as add it to the groove pool. Okay, so by default on this swing, uh, the timing is set to 100%. And the timing is basically the percentage of the groove that is going to be applied. So if at 100%, it's going to be the maximum swing that that groove allows. Now, the more that you decrease that percentage, the less and less swing. So if I take it down to zero, it will it will basically have no swing applied, and it will be the original the original quantized drum track that I played. So you can a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go to the maximum swing that the max swing at 75 and then you can just mess with the percentages to get the the amount of swing that you want what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this on a hundred percent so you can see how exaggerated the swing is on 75 
So some of the other parameters that come with each groove, uh, one is quantize, and that's also a percentage. Since we already have our drum tracks quantized, this really will have no effect for us. But say you played a drum track live. Say you uh, were using your MIDI controller and you, you programmed a, a drum track in. Um, unless you already had it set to quantize, it may be offbeat a little bit. So what this will do, without you actually having to go in and quantize it, you can set a base of what what um, how you want it to quantize and then you can apply a percentage so it will go ahead and snap to the grid just inside of the groove versus having to apply a quantize beforehand. And we already talked about the timing to give you the percentage, the control over the, the groove amount. Random will shift off of the groove slightly of what the, the MPC or whatever groove you're using, it, the random will just kind of randomly shift from that. So that's a cool feature you can throw in, maybe just like a little bit to see how it plays, give it more, you know, a human feel. And then the velocity um, is basically what it says. It, it varies the velocity. Um, and, and by default, it goes to 30%. So you can leave it there. You can play with it and see what, what sounds best to you. The groove velocity doesn't always give you as much control over the velocity as you may want. So sometimes what I do is I'll go in after the fact and manually adjust some of the drum velocities. So I just uh, brought down the velocity on some of the kick drums and I'll play it through with the same MPC swing applied and let you hear how it sounds. And so it's the same thing with the hi-hats. Right now, the hi-hat track that I programmed was, you know, 100% quantized and uh, there was no velocity variation. So the groove will give it some velocity variation, but a lot of times I will manually vary the velocity after I apply groove. So now you can see I varied some of the velocities on the hi-hats. Uh, now you can hear how that sounds. So now I'm going to go through a couple of the other grooves and just let you hear the difference, how they, how they sound. So here's the SP-1200 16 swing, 71. And here's how a Logic 16 Swing 70 sounds. Again, there are a lot of other grooves that you can apply. I just wanted to touch on a few of maybe the more common ones and just let you hear the difference in it, that it can make in your drum tracks. I feel like these kind of features make it easier for somebody coming from you know a hardware background, maybe NBC or an SP or whatever it is, because they already have access to the kind of grooves that were built into those machines. So anyway, I hope that helps uh, some of you all using Ableton to make your beats or even some of you considering you know, switching to Ableton. Um, I hope that gives you some insight into what it can do, at least for your drum tracks. So if this tutorial was helpful, um, please take a second out to comment and rate the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
Uh, if you have any other suggestions for Ableton tutorials or any other things you want covered, please you know, comment and, and leave us a message. So that's all that I have for this tutorial. Um, until next time, happy beat making. Peace.